Okay, today we're going to look at uh, engineering science and three. So we're going to look at heat. Uh, okay, we're going to look at the heat energy. So uh, we have uh, three formulas to calculate heat energy, or based on a heat energy only. So uh, we have uh, the formula. I uh, say uh, Q is equal to m multiply H V. That means the heat energy, which is represented by Q. Is equals to mass, which is m, multiplied by heat value. So if we have to calculate uh, the heat uh, energy produced by a fuel, so we have to have uh, the uh, mass of that fuel, then multiply by the heat value of that fuel, which uh, our heat value we are given in the standard sheet formula. So uh, then. And last question say our uh, heat energy is equal to mass multiplied by a C, which is specific heat capacity, multiplied by delta T, which is change in temperature. And uh, again, they say our uh, final temperature is equal to uh, original temperature plus or minus change in temperature. And uh, that we know that uh, change in temperature is equal to final temperature which is being represented by t2 minus by t1 which is our original uh, temperature so uh, sometimes we have uh, maybe our final temperature less is less than our initial temperature so therefore we are going to have uh, the change in temperature equals to a negative uh, uh, its temperature. So, for an example, maybe our final temperature is uh, maybe our final temperature is 12. Then our initial temperature with T1 is equal to 20 degrees Celsius. So then they say calculate our change in temperature. Then so it means change in temperature will be 12 minus 20, which will give us a negative 8 degrees Celsius. So that's why uh, this uh, formula, sometimes we have positive, that means uh, if our po is, uh, change in temperature is positive, that means our final temperature is uh, bigger than our initial uh, temperature. So uh, for the heat energy, so if we have the negative uh, so if we have our change in temperature as a negative, that means our our temp, our sorry our heat energy, which is mass multiplied by specific capacity multiplied by change in temperature. So if our change in temperature is negative, that means uh, we are going to find our heat value as equal to a negative uh, something. Yeah. So. If our heat energy is negative, that means our heat is being released or heat is being transferred to another element. So if we have a heat as a negative, that means the heat energy is being uh, transferred or heat is being released. Ne, heat is being tran transferred. Okay. So then uh, if we have to calculate heat energy, so okay, when it comes to uh, the formula that said heat gain, heat gain is equal to heat uh, released. Yeah? So if we have a uh, heat gain must always be a positive and heat released will be a negative because uh, this, uh, because the final temperature the final temperature will be less than the original temperature or the initial temperature. So therefore, the heat rele released will be negative. So if we're calculating uh, maybe the mass or the heat uh, gain, so we're going to have a negative answer in heat uh, released. So and then we have another a formula uh, they say uh, power is equal to uh, power is equal to Q over uh, T. That means uh, power is equal to heat energy over time. So if you have to calculate the power, we're going to have to calculate first the heat energy divided by time. 
Okay, so uh, let's look at uh, this uh, question here. Yeah. So I take it from a past uh, question paper. They say water is heated from 18 uh, from 18 degrees to uh, 80 degrees Celsius within one hour. Then 13 kg of oil uh, of oil with a heat value of uh, 30 megajoules uh, per kg is used. They say take the specific heat capacity of water as a 4.3 kilojoules uh, per kg degrees Celsius. Then they say suppose that uh, no heat energy is lost. No. So this uh, you have to highlight this one. So suppose that the heat energy as there is no heat uh, energy lost. No. Then they say calculate the following the change in temperature. So we know that the change in temperature is equal to final temperature minus original temperature. So our final temperature is 80 minus our initial temperature is 18. Then we have our uh, final uh, temperature, our change in temperature. Okay, so I'm going to leave all the calculations to you guys. I'm just an uh, illustration how to calculate uh, this uh, uh, heat. So uh, then they say calculate the, the heat energy given off by the of oil. So that means the heat energy is equal to mass multiplied by heat value. So heat released, uh, heat uh, transferred, heat energy given off the by uh, the fuel that means uh, we have uh, our fuel is 13 kg and it has a heat value of uh, 1 of uh, 30 megajoules so that means 13 multiplied by 30 megajoules is uh, 10 to the power 6 and then you have your heat then you have your heat uh, energy then they say calculate uh, the amount of water uh, heated so okay so they say suppose uh, that uh, there is no heat uh, lost there so that means your efficiency is 100 percent so that means the uh, the heat energy given off the by the the by the fuel which is okay the heat energy given off by the fuel is equal to the heat energy received by the water so because there is no heat uh, heat lost ne? so if there is no heat lost that means uh, this heat energy uh, let's take you going to have maybe let's take you calculated here you find uh, 23 mega joules ne? Uh, it's not a correct answer uh, this answer I just illustrated so this you have to calculate uh, the, the exact number of uh, that number. so if they say a heat is there's no heat uh, energy loss that means the heat of the heat of the fuel is equal to heat of the water heat of the fuel is equal to heat of the water so we know that the heat of Heat is equal to heat energy of the fuel or oh, heat energy of water is equal to mass multiplied by specific heat capacity multiplied by changing temperature. So therefore uh, our mass we have to calculate the mass of the uh, water which is our the amount of water heated. So we're going to have to make M the subject of the formula. M will be equal to C multiply oh, sorry m will be equal to q over c and then change in temperature so there so if you if the heat energy of that coal was uh, 23 megajoules so therefore we're going to say 23 megajoules multiplied by 6 to, by 10 to the power 6 and then uh, divided by our um, specific heat capacity, our specific heat capacity, they say, is 4.2 kilojoules. That means we have, say a 4.2 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 multiplied by change in temperature. So our change in temperature is that one from the first uh, question. 
and then you find your um, heat your um the amount of heat uh, heat or the amount of water so this is how you have to calculate uh, all this equation so okay let's say suppose that there is was the heat lost or there was heat lost of of 20 as it, let's say there was heat loss of 20 degree 20 percent that means it's your efficiency if they say there's no heat energy uh, lost that means uh, your efficiency is 100 percent but if there was 20 percent uh, of heat uh, lost then this, maybe they say suppose that uh, there was 20 percent heat energy uh, lost that means your heat uh, value the heat released by okay the heat given off the by the fuel will be not equal to the heat uh, of the heat gained by the water so therefore you are going to say the heat uh, released by the fuel which is 23 mega joules then multiplied by uh, 0 0.2 which is 0 0.2 which is uh, 20 divided by 100 it give us uh, 0 0.2 then we're going to find the heat uh, of then we're going to find the heat of value of that of water and then therefore you're going to calculate the mass of water okay thank you so i uh, watch up in the next video we're going to discuss about uh li linear expansion and area expansion sure.